To the shock and surprise of almost all ringside critics, Morales reached out and said, I want to fight Marcos Maidana. I want to fight the youngest, fieriest, hard puncher in the 140 pound weight class, even though I spent most of my career fighting at 122, 126, and 130 pounds. It is regarded by almost everyone here as a very bad idea, but he's Eric Morales. He has a sure ticket to the Hall of Fame. He is as arrogant as any fighter in the last 20 years, and you might be foolish to completely count him out. We shall see. A lot of the print reporters and broadcast reporters who are here close to us in the media section at uh, the MGM Grand are worried, blatantly worried about Eric Morales' health as he prepares for this assignment. They believe that he's risking too much against Maidana. Is it a serious concern? Yes, as particularly if, my, if, if Morales fights with the kind of resolve that he did throughout the prime of his career, because it means he could take a bad and serious beating. And so there's legitimate concern, yes. Maidana off of him. And it starts with an uppercut that doesn't land. Maidana's just about it. There's no subtlety here. This is blood force. Uppercut landed. Body shots. Maidana missed with the big right hand, but he's coming. That's exactly what it looks like. Uppercut lands for Maidana. Missed with the right hand, but the left hook. Right eye seems almost closed. Round one not over with yet. Already Eric Morales may be a one-eyed fighter. Stop, stop, stop. Jose Morales, the trainer, is also the gut man. Father of Eric Morales going to work on the cut. And that could have been the punch that did it, Jim. It's, it, if that's the punch, then it wasn't a thump. Far. And Maidana seems like the big, relentless 140-pound puncher that we've advertised him here to be. A weapon for him. That arrogance would be seen as comical under these circumstances. Well, he had a thing where he got tagged one good shot, he wanted to come back with two of his own. And it stopped opponents from creating real momentum against him, but he seems unable to do that here against Maidana. He's just keeping the momentum. Morales trying to fight his oh. way back off the rope, and he lands a big right, right hand from Morales. Absolutely huge right Bravo hand. Bravo Maidana. And suddenly Maidana has been knocked back. His right eye is totally closed up. I'm talking about Eric Morales. And a lot of the shots he's not seeing coming. With the way he can punch, it only takes one or two from Maidana. Good feint by Morales set up a right hand. Maidana, however, walked through it and came back. Now he has to walk through another one as Morales lands a good right. But there's a vicious uppercut and a vicious left hook, and Morales has to fight back the way he used to fight back against Pacquiao whenever those exchanges would take place. Left hook for Morales. The crowd loves that. Another good counter right hand by Morales. This is not just today, tonight with Maidana. This is throughout Morales' comeback. And he walks through every, whatever you deliver to him by and large. <laughs> CompuBox numbers through round four. Morales 37 of 185. Maidana 64 out of 301. So basically Maidana is more or less doubling what Morales does, both in terms of punches thrown and punches landed. Well, he's following Rudy Perez's instructions in the corner. Maidana is not loading up a ton and just moving his hands. Looks like Morales those instructions wins the trade. Morales wins the trade and backs Maidana away. The older fighter shows greater hand speed in the exchange. 
Well, as Madonna was lightening up on the shots to throw more of them, they were still coming in wide. Morales came right down the middle with counters. Not surprising that the veteran star would find the weaknesses in Madonna's plan. But hard right hand over the top by Morales. Maybe his best punch of the fight. But whoever did bet him maybe isn't so upset at this moment that they did. Oh, oh these are hard shots for Morales. And accurate. A last stand by Morales, perhaps. Oh, the aging warrior teaching the young star a thing or two about hand speed and combination punching. As those straight right hands right on Maidana's chin are highly effective. And here comes Maidana. This round has waked the arena up. Hey. Who would have thought what a round that fighting with one eye, Eric Morales could stage a rally like that. Maidana keeps walking to you. Keeps bringing the pressure. Keeps getting Morales hit. Morales keeps fighting back and countering. I have to say, it is a pleasure to watch an old great champion like this put up this kind of fight. He just took a hard right hand shot and took a breath afterward and appeared to have been more affected by that punch yes. than by any other shot he's taken from Maidana. And Maidana seems to know it. And the old warrior fights back again. He's never known any other way. He's never held for a moment. He's never tried to get away from combat. He's always fought his way out. There's still greatness left in Eric Morales. 58th fight of Eric Morales' career. He won the first 41 in a row. It's a fight he kept telling people that he was sure he could win. Most people scoffed. And he's not and he's very much in this fight. Go to war in there. These last five rounds, if the fight goes to distance, could be special. We keep waiting for Morales to run out of gas, and he sort of has that look because the eye's been swollen since the first round, but it hasn't happened. Oh! Huge left hook! Maidana's holding on. Maidana is still in trouble as he stands in the corner and waits. Morales looking for another opportunity. Eric Morales at the moment with the upper hand in a fight of the year candidate against Marcos Maidana. An amazing show, trading with impunity against the 27-year-old punching to the of the division. Huge right hand by Maidana. Another right hand by Maidana. Oh, the uppercut on the inside. See, and the and hook. A big left hand by Morales. He just can't, you know, he's not breathing in, Jim. Some of them, I think he's breathing through his nose. And he really looks winded. With Rudy Perez, without Rudy Perez, I think he's in bad shape. However, he has just seized command and strafed Morales with a series of about 12 power punches. And right now, Maidana believes that he's trying to finish the fight. Stop, stop, stop. I mean, Maidana just landed about 20 power shots. It was an amazing rally. Over that duration. And he looks in pretty good shape to me. All of a sudden, Maidana has found a oh, second win. Oh. Look at him take Morales' hard shots. Eric Morales. Unbelievable. Stop, stop, stop. This sport is savage, but it can be so beautiful when you see greatness. Not just the remnants, but real life in Morales' greatness here. It's not just his technique. It's certainly not what he has left physically. It's the fighting heart. I don't think there's a soul in the arena who believed that Marcus Maidana versus Eric Morales was going to become a serious candidate for fight of the year. From the first round, he's had extremely limited vision, if any at all, from that right eye, and he's fighting this fight against an animal. Pose to him the hypothetical question. You're at Canastota. Oh. Well, we can't talk about it now because he's not at Canastota yet. 
Herrera's trainer, Rudy Perez, oh. is training Maidana tonight. Maidana just landed two Titanic. giant shots. Massive power punches, and Morales held on. Harold Letterman now has Morales leading the fight by two points with two rounds to go. Agreed. I thought Morales won the round. Crowd chanting, Morales, Morales. Looking out of that one eye, the other one completely shut. Sitting duck for that big left hook for Maidana. He cannot see it coming. That was a huge shot, as were the two punches toward the end of the last round. Morales holding on to the degree that he holds on, meaning that he's holding his ground and trying to stay out of harm's way. Thudding left never grabbed the opponent hold. Thudding left hook to the body from Maidana. And Morales seems to psych him out by not folding. Yeah, Madonna keeps waiting for Morales to fall, but he hasn't been able to chop him down. Madonna fell for Morales' faint. But Eric couldn't make anything big out of it. Hey. Donna coming in. Tough round for Morales, but he's still standing up. Hey. Everybody's seeing you. They're seeing Eric Morales. They all want to see you. He's the greatest fighter in the history of one of North America's toughest towns. He's had six fights in his career against stars like Marco Antonio Barrera and Manny Pacquiao. He's trying to prove all his stop, critics stop, stop. wrong one last time. And Harold Letterman, how does Eric Morales stand as he comes to the 12th round? Okay, 106, uh, 105 rather, 104, six rounds to five. Eric El Terrible Morales. Jim, I thought he won four rounds in a row, seven, oh. eight, nine, ten. And then in the 11th round, that I started small badly. My daughter came out, pulled out the 11th. Morales by one point. This round could easily decide the fight, and so far, Maidana's winning it big, and here comes Morales. Morales hoping his straighter, cleaner punches will continue to hold Maidana off and prevent a knockout as the result of one of these giant thunder shots that Maidana is landing in the last two rounds. Morales has a rally here in this round now, this fight crosses over from being special to being something else, I think. Here he comes, trying to marshal his resources oh. one last time. Big right hand over the top by Morales. Just missed with that one. He's got Maidana back on the defensive. Now here comes the Argentine. Throwing wide, leaving himself uncovered down the middle. Oh. Maidana's running shots here ringside. 30 seconds to go, and there's desperation in both fighters as they try to make their last statements in the fight. What an astonishing show by Eric Morales. And these 20 seconds can decide this fight, Jim. Stop, stop, stop. Win or lose, Morales has proven everyone wrong who criticized the matchup. Unbelievable oh. shot by Madonna, and Morales hangs in. There's another giant shot by Madonna. And the right hand, and another right hand. Last ditch effort to knock Morales out, and the old warrior stands up. But Madonna clearly won the 12th. The old great fighter, the once great fighter indeed, had another great night left in him. Ringside with the result. Let's see what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Dick Hout scores the bout 114-114 even. Jerry Roth and Adelaide Bird score it 116 to 112 for the winner by majority decision from Argentina, Marcos El Chino. do such a good job of offering up consistently the kind of product that you get when you turn on football and the NFL at the highest levels, basketball, NBA at the highest level, baseball, MLB at the highest level. We, we don't do such a good job of always consistently offering you that, that quality. But man, just when you least expect it, when you don't even expect much from the fight, boxing gives you what no other sport can. This was astounding tonight. 
and it reminds me why I love this game so much.